Hey guys, how are you? We're here with another video tutorial for my creative year. These videos generally air on YouTube, but they don't always. Sometimes they go directly to the My Creative Year Facebook group, um, specifically the challenge videos. And I was out at a uh, particular location uh, recently for the month of July and was totally inspired uh, by stuff that we're doing over there to create a little video for them, which I did a little talk. Um, so if you're really interested in what you see here and what we talk about here in this video and you want to see what's going over uh, on over in my creative year, go to the video description. The link for the group is there and click on it. Now this month in the group, we have two things. We have a always have a monthly challenge this year for 2019 and um, we also have a theme. Now the theme this month is architecture and the challenge word is uplift. Um, and if you want to see my challenge video, that went directly to the group, so it's not here on YouTube. Um, so inspired by those two words and those idea, I am going to try to create a page. Where is the page going to go? I don't know. For me, architecture means more than just the actual building of a building, but the building and design of a structure, a person, a personality, a piece of art. It's, it's the construction of a thing, the construction of a place, the construction of a feeling. For me, that's what it means. The actual Wikipedia um, definition is architecture is a noun. Uh, the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings, the style in which a building is designed and constructed, especially with regard to a specific period, place, or culture, or the complex or carefully designed structure of something, um, the chemical architecture of the human brain, for instance, the conceptual structure and logical organization of a computer or computer-based systems, a client-server architecture. So it means more than just the actual building of a building. It's broader than that, if you take it that way, which I choose to. Um, so I'm going to create a page um, and build a page with that in mind. Um, I think it's going to end up being very linear. Um, I really was inspired by this random background I already had in here, so I think we're going to go with that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say on here yet, um, but I do like this unusual sort of all red palette. So I'm going to see where I go and I will have a talk with you about the end in the end about where we ended up because at this moment there's a lot of ideas floating around in my head and I'm not sure how to art articulate all of them. So let's see where we go with this, shall we?
Okay, I love where this ended up. It didn't end up where I expected that it would, but I love where it ended up. So one of the nice thing about having journals just filled with random backgrounds, so this is another one. I just take random bits that are on my table and I honestly, I don't really plan or think about it too much. I just start slapping them down on a page in one of my journal, many journals I have out. And then at some point when I need to create a page or feel the inspiration to create a page, I just literally flip, flip through, find one I'm attracted to and create on there and finish the page. Um, so that's what this was. And I have lots of randomness in my art studio. And my, one of my missions this year is to really use some of it. I'm not expecting to use it all up, but to use it rather than to have it sit in a drawer. One of the many sort of vintagey things I have are these skeleton leaves. We probably all have them from the scrapbooking days. Um, they are sort of hard to find now these days, but I do have quite a few of them, so I've been using them. They do me no good sitting in a drawer. Um, so adding a few skeleton leaves, a hot glue embellishment, a little piece of a, this is actually a piece of metal from like a tile sample from a hardware store like this one that I got at a salvage place. Um, it's like metal. It's a little piece, sample piece of a colored metal. Um, a brad, a piece of painting paper, and then I, on my typewriter that is um, away from the camera here, build your own destiny. Build, like architecture, like building and creating. And I love that. I love the way this looks. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do and the kind of interesting art you can make with abstract, strange words, taking them out of the box, really expanding on and expounding on what they mean and taking it instead of in a straight line, go off to the left or go off to the right uh, and um, see where you can take it and see um, where it can take you and your art. I would love to see uh, what you do this month with this. Um, if you're not part of the Facebook group and you would like to be, again, the link is in the description below along with my list of uh, places you can find me. There's a list called Linktree in the description of the video and uh, when you click on it you're going to find every place I'm on the internet. All of my social media if you want to follow me in my daily art practice, the places you can support the free content here on YouTube and over on, on Facebook. Um, and um, the My Creative Year link is down there. The Happy Mail address is down there. Lots and lots of places you can get in touch with me and we can share and be inspired by each other's art because that's really what it's all about, right? So this is where architecture took me this month. Where did it take you? I want to see. Um, so please come over and join us in my creative year and share. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, search hashtag, hashtag my creative year here on YouTube. And there's a bunch of videos by a bunch of different people. And um, I, you know, it's always interesting to see what they do and what's on their desk. Um, and the most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.